film has been made by members of the North Yorkshire Physical and Sensory Impairment Board and reference groups to illustrate the social model of disability and how relatively small changes can make a big difference for disabled people. It is hoped that individuals and organisations will use this film as a resource in any discussion about the experience of disabled people in our society. North Yorkshire Physical and Sensory Impairment Partnership Board is made up of disabled people, local councils and other statutory agencies and is part of the North Yorkshire Partnership. The PSI Board works with the four reference groups who provide the voice of disabled people. Hamilton and Richmondshire Reference Group, Harrogate and Craven Reference Group, Scarborough Whitby Rydale Reference Group, Selby Reference Group. They are supported by North Yorkshire County Council. The social model of disability says that disability is created by barriers in society. These barriers usually fall into three categories. Environmental, inaccessible buildings and services, attitudes, discrimination, prejudice and stereotyping, and organisations, inflexible policies, practices and procedures. The medical model says that it's somebody's medical condition or impairment that causes the barriers to them taking fully part in society. And if these conditions or impairments were fixed by the medical professionals, then they would be able to take part. However, it's actually society that prevents people from taking part by putting these barriers in place. Historically, the medical model of disability was used to exclude people from society, whereas a social model of disability removed those barriers, which means that everybody can be involved. Using the social model helps identify solutions to the barriers disabled people experience. It encourages the removal of these barriers within society or the reduction of their effects, rather than trying to fix an individual's impairment or health condition. Another way to demonstrate the social model of disability is to look at the story of Winnie the Witch and her black cat Wilbur. Winnie the Witch lived in a black house with her black cat, Wilbur. Everything in Winnie's house was black. This was fine whilst Wilbur was awake because Wilbur had lovely green eyes. Problems came when Wilbur went to sleep and closed his eyes. Winnie couldn't see him and she kept falling over him. Winnie came up with an idea and abracadabra, she changed Wilbur from black to green. This was fine whilst Wilbur was in the house, because he could be seen everywhere. But the problems occurred when Wilbur went outside into the garden. Wilbur could not be seen in the green grass. So again, Winnie had another idea and abracadabra, she turned Wilbur into multicoloured. This was great because Wilbur could be seen everywhere, in the black house and in the green garden. Apart from poor Wilbur, all the birds laughed at him and Wilbur wasn't very happy. So Winnie thought again. And she thought, and she thought, and then, abracadabra, Winnie changed her house into a multicoloured house, and Wilbur went back to being a black cat. Wilbur could be seen anywhere in the house, and they both lived together happily. This DVD shows examples of the typical barriers that many disabled people face in North Yorkshire and demonstrate how, with some thought, these barriers can be removed or minimised. These are their stories. <laughs>